Back to Todd Jerry Hanger, this is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for November 10th of 2019. We've got a lot of great things to talk about. We've got Masterpiece news, Legends news, a little bit of Siege news, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and get right into this. First things, a quick reminder, today on the 10th at noon, yeah, we have the show Z Cell, and if you've been looking to buy a few things, especially bigger purchases, then you get, you know, 2% uh, off 100, 5% off 500, and then if you're a premium member, you get 7% back on points. You can get great figures such as the, the Giga Power version of Grimlock, Yang Zing, Red Dragon or Wing Dragon that I recently reviewed. Or the item I think is probably the best value, the Zeta Toys Bruticus, the Bruticon, and it's 330. And so let's get right into the news. First bit of news I want to talk about is that Magic Square is putting out their clear version of Optimus Prime and their this thing is actually pretty cool, but I'm not really sure why you need a clear one. But if you could light it up, it would look really good. And I know that they're doing a whole lot of things with clear in the Legends scale and now in the Masterpiece scale. I think it looks pretty cool. And if you can get that thing lit up, it would be a really cool Optimus Prime. Next up, we've got Toy World in what they call their Perfect Edition Constructor. Now this is their Devastator. It looks like the first issue of Devastator, but they've done a few different things. This has the silver thighs. I'm not sure if it's gonna come with an alternate green thigh. It does have most of the G1 upgrades and everything, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a more G1-esque Constructor, they're putting it back out. Next up, the the last con exclusive is available at Show Z. It's like 130 bucks. The Senator Ratbat, and uh, he looks cool. It's a, a cool looking figure. And if you're in for the Senator Ratbat, add it to your order and get a get a deal. But you didn't have to go to the con. You didn't have to spend the money to drive there. You didn't have to pay to get in to get the exclusives. So next up, we have the MMC's Bruticus Upgrade Kit. And the thing is, this Upgrade Kit is going to give you a little more height. Like an inch, maybe an inch and a half extra height. Which is needed in the current modern day uh, Masterpiece Combiner War that is going on. You also get a chest upgrade. So look at all these upgrades. A head upgrade, the, the rear guns and all that. So, quite a bit of an upgrade kit. It's $65, though, but it's available for pre-order right now. Speaking of up for pre-order, the MMC Onslaught is actually up for pre-order right now. I know we've seen some videos of this thing in action, and yeah, it's, it's gonna, what's going to hold that Bruticus together. Remember, this is all inclusive, too, so there's really very little to no parts for me. This figure is going to be about $160, and each of the limbs are a hundred. And speaking of their limbs, their swindle is shipping out now. So, if you pre-ordered this, look for it. If you're looking forward to adding to your set, now's the time. Next up on Masterpiece News is the DX9 is putting out their Motormaster, and it's supposed to be due out by the end of the year. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's what I'm hearing, and it's up for pre-order. For 150 so if you pick this guy up for 150 and you pick each of the arms up for 100 a piece so at 350 you you've got a good looking minosaur i mean you of course the ones that clip on the back of the legs well you know if you want to go in on those two you know, you'd be up to 550 but it's looking quite promising there are a couple of minor issues to it but the reality is the clicks in the ratchets sounds strong it looks like it's well built it looks like it's well it's the same height as Bruticus for Zeta and Zeta Superion so it's it's taller than we all expected or at least than I expected 
The only real downside to this figure, in my opinion, is how long that trailer is. It's just kind of real long and kind of crazy looking, but I'm not going to ever display it in that mode. Uh, I, so I don't have a problem with that so much. And guess what? I think I'm in on it. I've done a pre-order on it and put my $5 down. I think I might actually get this thing and, and build my Minasaur. Who knows who's going to be the first one to build it. It should have been X-Transbots, but the X-9 is stepping up. And here's how Motormaster will look with the rest of the team and a couple of official figures and an MMC figure. Before we get into talking about Legends, I actually want to talk a little bit about the, the Funko reaction figures. And I gotta say they look really good. I am a collector of three and three quarter inch figures sealed in the package. I think the, the package looks good on this. I think the figures look okay. I don't think they look amazing or anything. But I didn't expect amazing. I, I expected actually kind of exactly what they're putting out. And they look good. Now they're $18 a piece, $17.99. And I'm a little disappointed in the price point. I'm kind of hoping there's a way maybe you can buy a case of them for a better price and just get, you know, one of each figure. There's going to be a total of, I think, 16 or 18 of these characters. But, you know, they look good. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with the, the way they've done it. And yeah, even the Bubble Bee is smaller than the rest of them, like he should be. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And at about the 3.75 inch height, some of these would look good on a Legend shelf. So, y'all you know, kind of want to hear, what do you guys think about this uh, Funko Reactions version of Transformers that don't transform? So, Magic Square... And New Age are entering the race with their Seekers. So the Magic Square Starscream, we don't have a price on it yet. It does look nice. And the plastic from this picture does not look ridiculously chalky. And it looks like it's got paint and it glistens, which is very, very unlike Magic Square. So maybe they're turning over a leaf. Who knows? But it does look pretty interesting and promising. Now, New Age is coming out with their Seekers also, and they they look different than Magic Squares. It's really going to be hard to tell which one is better. That's an interesting little uh, debate there. I think DX9 did a great job in the beginning, and I think that McFans Toys upsized those, and they look good. And so we've got these Seekers who are trying to beat that standard, so... Yeah, which one would win? And and according to my information, the New Age and the Magic Squares are the exact same height, around 3.85 inches. And Toy World's entering the ring with the Beast Wars in the Legends scale, with well, with their Trans Metals Megatron. They're also putting out another mold of this same figure, or well, the same mold, different color as a Grimlock, which is interesting, but uh, I don't have a picture of that. But anyway, this is kind of Toy World's, what, first step into some Legends? And we have the Transform Element, and they're stepping in to Legends with Black Arachnia. Now, this is a smaller version of, I guess, the Masterpiece that's coming out, but a whole different design and the legs are not articulated for the spider mode and there there's some extra features for this figure but i think it looks really good and it's kind of interesting that people or companies are already attacking beast wars in the legends line what i really want to point out is transform element is they've already got them rat trap sorry rat trap uh, working and he looks good and this does look really good it's interesting that they're putting out sort of some side characters first instead of main characters so it would make me think that the main characters are coming now in case you missed it on my community tab you can just click on my community tab 
Uh, you can find information to get 25% off of any one toy at Target, or you can visit Target and the signs everywhere show you. But it's a good way to get the Rainmakers or, you know, a bigger purchase for a better price, 25% off. And I, I took advantage of it. I just hadn't seen the Rainmakers while they had any sale going on, so I never picked them up. And this was a great opportunity. So we've gotten to see some more pictures, better pictures, different pictures of Siege Earthrise figures. And first of all, it tells me Grapple is still a great looking figure. You can see the little gappiness in the arm, a little bit in the thigh. And for a mainline release figure for uh, $20, $30, uh, I don't see that as being, well, really that bad or as bad as it's been. Looking at Hoist, and Hoist, I think Hoist is one of the shining gems in this line also. He looks great, uh, the best we've ever gotten in a main line, and uh, I wouldn't say it rivals third parties, but it still looks great. I do see a little bit of hollowness here and there, and again, that still doesn't bother me. I kind of wished we would have seen a little bit of silver accents with a few things. I mean, we see it on the legs, but we don't see it on the, that little piece behind his head and a few other things, but you know, still, it's a great figure. We get a little bit closer look at the chamber, the Matrix chamber and the Matrix with Prime and a few more other pictures of Prime. Now, it's kind of interesting how we've been seeing a lot of kind of breakdowns between the Primes because when we first heard about Earthrise, we kind of thought it was just a minor remold of Siege and now it's looking like the shared components are far less than we originally thought. And there's a lot of different pieces and different parts. But you can see in this picture, they are not just heavily, well, they're heavily remolded, I guess you could say. They don't share as much. And we got more pictures here. You know, the interesting thing about this is it's showing kind of the integration of this little shield guy that's going to show up. And I, they're just, I guess, introducing a new character, a new aspect of Transformers, which it, it's kind of cool, it, I guess. I got this little thing going on online and so some some grade school teachers dressed up as Transformers and were transforming on Halloween and that is cool I really like that I like that kind of stuff you know it's it's interesting it's a little late you know it's a little way past Halloween but I still think it's a really cool thing that they did it and yeah it warms the heart right so, for my transition to Star Wars this week, I really want to talk about that junk man. And he's a YouTuber that talks about Star Wars. He has a lot of passion about Star Wars, but his heart is in vintage. Now, he keeps up with modern. He buys some of the modern. He, he did some stuff like on the 4th. He went in the back room at Walmart to see what they had. He did some crazy stuff. But I watched this guy. He's cool. He's crazy. And he actually told me, Mike, you need to get some sort of social media other than YouTube. You need to get some Facebook and stuff. So, uh, yeah, early on he gave me some advice. So, thanks, Junkman. Keep up the good work, and you're great. So, first thing I want to talk about with the Star Wars is that the Ceremony Luke Wave is starting to show up. And I found him at my target. So, if I found it, then it's probably showing up everywhere. And we've also got... You know, all the other figures that go with that wave. I picked up a few of them uh, just for fun. And it's pretty cool. It looks like this X-Wing uh, suit has been remolded. We'll just use a different head. So, it's a good use, I guess. I mean, we need some more X-Wing fighter pilots. So, we got a Black Series Heavy Mandalorian picture floating around. It's starting to show up. And, well, we really don't know exactly what this is i assume it has to do with the show mandalorian and it's pretty cool it's got heavy armor he's a little bit bigger and thicker than the regular mandalorian figure so pretty interesting looking at the lighter side of things we have a darth raven and that figure was cool that figure was so popular that it got another production run and was put out as just that figure in a case which is very very seldom that hasbro does that now they're putting it out with a light side 
well, it's, we're, like, why? Is this part of the movie? Is this part of some lore I missed? But, hey, it's still cool. I mean, it's, it's a cool looking figure. So, Black Series, the Jedi Knight Luke, the, the redone version, and the Spirit Force Yoda are showing up in Walmarts, and then the Walmart exclusive. And I haven't seen them yet, but they're starting to show up. So you might want to check your Walmarts and see if these guys are on the shelf, if you're into it. They're also putting out a red version or a Geonosis version of the battle droid. So I don't know if you're like me and you bought several of the regular battle droids when they were selling at Walmart for 15 bucks. But yeah, I picked up several of them then. It's going to suck to pay like 20 for this guy. <laughs> and then we got the Count Dooku. And he, he looks good. He does look really good for the six inch line. So we got some cool stuff coming up and yeah, it's gonna be all about the prequels these days. We also have some vintage collection, a Stormtrooper. We've never had a Stormtrooper in the vintage. I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, we've got uh, another version of Maul, prequel, prequel, prequel. And we have, you know, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't check the VC numbers of this, but I have this guy on card, vintage collection card. So maybe these are all reissues? And then of course, there's this really awesome looking Darth Vader. I, they just keep making great ones. Here is an Anakin, which, I mean, I am sure this is a reissue. I've seen this one before. Now, some of the most exciting news is they're reissuing some of these uh, Black Series lightsabers. It's exciting news. I remember when this Kit Fisto lightsaber came out and I just passed on it. I ended up buying one, on a used one, to fill my collection. But the sad thing is, these things are getting more expensive every year the the msrp on these new lightsabers is 215 so it's getting kind of crazy and you're not really getting anything extra with them now there are some other lightsabers that they're they say are going to be like a like a supreme version or something that's going to have all kinds of extra features to it but and those are going to be 300 that's just blowing my mind crazy because because my limit's always been around 100 and 150 is a bit much now we're looking at 215 kind of crazy so the last bit of news that everybody can enjoy is that peter colin is getting a lifetime achievement award and this is going to be presented on sunday november 17th so don't miss this arts award gala don't miss it and well you know unless you just want to watch a rerun or something but he deserves it you know if you don't know that he also voiced Optimus prime uh he was his voice was in Voltron. There's a lot that he's done in the past. And by the way, he's trying to keep Transformers alive himself. He's a great guy. Let me know what you think about this week's news. Is there anything that I missed that was important that happened this week that, that I didn't talk about? Hey, put it in the comments. Let me know because I really would like to know. Like, subscribe, and tie your hair and hang out.